Hey everyone, this is a departure from my usual stuff. I've done one of these before, but I'm gonna talk about not my favorite things, but my husband's favorite things in his daily getting ready routine or whatever it is that men do in the morning. I have to say that aside from brushing his teeth, he really doesn't do anything at night, which is not fair that his skin is in such amazing shape. Um, I can't even imagine what I would look like if I didn't wash my face every night, but then again, he's not wearing makeup, so there you go. So these are all the toiletries that he uses on a daily basis, pretty much, and um, I should tell you that my husband will never come on camera. For those of you that haven't been watching me for very long, he uh, he's an attorney, he's in the courtroom a lot all over the country, and so he doesn't want to walk into a courtroom and have a juror recognize him from being on YouTube videos. He doesn't think he'd be taken very seriously, so that's really why he doesn't um, come on my videos. But he has incredibly oily skin. We like to call him the, um, boys, what do we call daddy when he's really oily? Spindle top. Spindle top, yes. <laughs> my kids came up with this uh, affection term called spindle top. Go Google that if you're not familiar with oil history or terminology. Um, so he's really oily skin. I think his skin is made out of leather because he can do anything to it and there's no reaction, zero sensitivity to anything, which is so just unfair. And he's very olive skinned. I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not, but the rest of us are pretty pasty in the family, but my husband is um, very swarthy. There's some pictures of him on Facebook. So if you're not a friend of mine on Facebook, I suggest you ask to be, request to be my friend and then you can see pictures of him. So morning routine. Just, I'm not saying that I recommend this, I'm just telling you these are the products he uses and maybe you can introduce your husband's, boyfriend's, son's, brother's, whatever to some of this stuff because his skin does look amazing. Okay, so first thing, Neutrogena had sent me a little while back a whole package of stuff, a lot of which I've already talked about. Um, eye stuff, lip crayon, things like that. They did also send me this exfoliating kit which I took one look at and said, no way, I'm not putting that on my skin. And my husband's like, ooh, can I try it? So it's this microdermabrasion kit, and I will put all the links and the correct um, names for all these products below. And it came with, it's, it's very similar to the Clarisonic in that it's shaped like a Clarisonic. The difference being, Clarisonic just vibrates. This actually has, well, this vibrates as well, but it has this, ooh, it has different speeds. Look at that, I never even turned it on. It has low speed, high speed. Anyway, it has this very, gritty, I mean you can hear it, um, exfoliating pad that has cleanser built into it and I have sensitive skin and I thought this would be a disaster. He takes this in the shower with him and he puts this all over his face. He loves this stuff and I, I couldn't, but anyway, he does this all over his face. This is his pre-shave routine and he says he has never had a smoother shave than since he started using this product. You do have to buy refills. It doesn't say how often to replace it, I guess when it stops foaming up, but um, you can buy the little replacement pads that just look like, they're very thin. There's about 12 of them. They look like that. So that's what he does in the shower. Meanwhile, he, he multitasks. I don't know how they do that. He shampoos with this American Crew Citrus Mint. It's active shampoo and um, it's quite minty and refreshing. So that's what he uses for shampoo, and then he follows up with this conditioner, which is the Ren Pure Solutions Rosemary Mint Cleansing Conditioner. I have no idea where he gets this. I will find out, or, or I'll find a link for it. Um, he loves to wander CVS with me and find weird stuff, so he may have picked this up either at CVS or Walgreens, because that's what he does. This one has no sulfates, parabens, dyes, gluten, phthalates, or propylene glycol, so he's into all that. Who knew? Okay, then he rinses his hair, and then he uses the, he loves, loves, loves this stuff. It's the number seven men energizing face scrub. And it says really fights, fights dullness for a really deep clean. And you're thinking, oh my god, more. How could you exfoliate twice like that? I have no idea. But what he does is he uses this as his shaving cream. So he puts this just where he shaves, and he's still in the shower. He uses this Gillette Fusion razor, and it also has the little vibrating thing. I don't know. So he shaves in the shower. There's no mirror. I have no idea how he does this. 
Um, he does, he did tell me that when he gets out of the shower and gets back in front of the sink and the mirror, he will go back and kind of touch up the edges, make sure he didn't get any spots that he missed. Now, sometimes he gets a little bumpy. So he said not every day, but sometimes he uses, and this is almost out, so he must use it a lot, this stuff called Bump Patrol. And um, it heals and prevents razor bumps and burn. So that's, he, I guess he uses this a lot. So that's what it looks like. And then when he gets out of the shower, he puts in, towel dries his hair a little bit, and he stole this, we switched. He got the Moroccan oil and I got this. Now I use the Moroccan oil and he uses the one and only Argan oil. He likes this the best, he swears by it. And he puts a little bit of this in his hands and just does this, runs it through his hair and he combs it through with this kind of like tangle removing brush. It has no name, I have no idea where he found this. Probably at CVS. Then he shampoo, not shampoos, he blows his hair dry. He calls it his hair blower. This is the, inf he has had a million versions of it. He goes through about one a year. This is the Conair Infinity Pro something. And it comes with the brush attachment, also has a comb attachment. He likes this and he just runs it through his hair and blows it dry every morning. And he's done, you know, in like five minutes. So not fair. Now, other little things he uses occasionally, no, well, this he uses every day. His, his, his antiperspirant slash deodorant of choice is the Old Spice Pure Sport, um, Pure Sport High Endurance Deodorant. Hmm, not an antiperspirant. We're going to have to have a little chat about that. He's not a very sweaty guy, but this is what he uses every day. And his everyday, my all-time favorite cologne ever, in fact, now both my kids wear it, is the Royal Musk Cologne, which I have seen in a few spots, but primarily I see it at Brooks Brothers. But I will put a link down below if you don't have a Brooks Brothers. Occasionally, very, very occasionally, he breaks out. He says since he's been doing this exfoliating thing, he never does. But when he does, he uses at night the Clean and Clear Persigel 10, which I got for him because Emily Noel 83 recommended it. And so that's what he uses. He did have a couple of fail items that he wanted me to share. Um, he had started using this Olay Professional Pro X Exfoliating Renewal Cleanser with the Olay um, similar exfoliating thing that spins and he didn't like that or this. So he wanted me to tell you don't use this. And something that we picked up for him in New York when I was there in October, which if this is a full, it's completely full. So maybe I'll see if someone I know wants it. It's this, um, it's by Aven, and it's to the, for the care and prevention of ingrown hair. So this did nothing for him whatsoever. So he does not care for it. So those are my husband's current um, favorite things, or well, they're the only things that he uses to get ready mostly in the morning. And um, he, you know, I think I've rubbed off on him in that we spend a lot of time in the toiletry cosmetic section of various drugstores and and places that sell those kinds of things. So to kill time, he ends up wandering the aisles and he's picked up quite a selection of things. Now, if you're not interested in what I have on my face, then click off. You're not gonna hear anything interesting after this, but I am going to take a page out of Kristen Games' book and let you know what's going on. I will list, of course, everything in the description box below, but maybe this will answer some of your questions for you. I get them from time to time. Um, for foundation, I am wearing NARS Sheer Glow in Gobi with a little pump of Bourjois Healthy Mix in 51 because the NARS shade I have is just a little bit too light. Um, so I'm, that's on my list of things to get. I really, I'm really enjoying how my skin looks with the NARS Sheer Glow. All the usual concealers, nothing exciting there. Um, it's a lazy Sunday. We just got back from a hike in the canyon. Yes, I wore full makeup to go on a hike in the canyon. Uh, on my eyes, my dear friend Katie cleaned out her makeup collection. I have no idea why she doesn't want this stuff, but she gave it to me and I love it. She gave me this Dior Duo. Looks like this. And I love, this is just my go-to, not even thinking twice about what I have to wear look. And it is in the shade Matte and Shiny Dip. Nude look. Nude look. So it looks like that. And actually, yeah, I'm wearing this all over the lid and then this just kind of blown out in the crease. Nothing all that exciting. And a little bit more of this on the brow bone. 
for lips. Um, another thing she didn't want. She's insane. This Dior Addict Lip Color in 359 uh, Pink Empress. And it looks like that. It's one of those easy colors you could just slap on without um, looking in the mirror. And then my new favorite blush. I'm this is the blush I've been looking for my whole life. It's by Smashbox. It's part of their Blush Rush collection. And it is in the color, I can open it, Bare. And it's, I don't know how, it's like a pinkish brown. It's really soft. It's very neutral. It barely shows up on the skin, just enough to give some color. Went a little crazy with the bronzer. wasn't really paying attention, so ignore that. But it is the Revlon bronzer that I picked up at the CVS sale. And on my nails is um, Zoya Blue, B-L-U. I just wanted something fresh and springy since it's 74 degrees outside. And shirt-wise, I just picked this up from Target. I love this. It's an exercise shirt. Um, and I love that it has, if it's cold out, you roll down the sleeves. Though it is not cold out right now. And you, it has little holes so you can stick your hands through. So it's like Lululemon without paying Lululemon. And then this is, these are also from Target. So that is everything that's going on here and everything that's going on in my husband's um, medicine cabinet. So I hope you enjoyed this, a little departure from the norm, and um, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.